this video, I will be going over the best stat to prioritize for every single skill tree so that you can start winning more fights. Before we start though, please make sure to like and subscribe so we can hit 8,000 subscribers by the end of the month. Let's get right into it. Alright, disclaimer section before we start the actual video, I do want to say that I feel like your weapon and your element that you pair up with each skill tree is definitely going to factor in what type of stat you should prioritize. So for that reason, I would take everything that I say with a grain of salt. If you do have any questions, just feel free to comment them below and I'll answer them. But yeah, I thought I would just mention that before we start. Now let's actually get into it. So I myself am a speed main, so I feel like this is probably the best one to start off the video with because I'm the most knowledgeable in this. Like if you played speed, you already know what I'm going to talk about right now. It's obviously the Riazzi train. As a speed user, you're going to be training a lot of Riazzi. This is for two main reasons. One, our moves drain a ton of Riazzi, obviously. And two, speed's main playstyle is going to be dash based. As a speed user, you're dashing around a lot. And if you're not, you should be. Like it's really overpowered. So for that reason, I would highly recommend every single speed user prioritize Riazzi so that you're able to use your build to the best ability. The best way to prioritize Ryasu is first, you're obviously your racial form, right? For Ron cards, I believe Hero is the best. I think it regens Ryasu. For Soul Reapers, we obviously have a Ryasu regen variant, which I would highly recommend picking up. Like, it's an essential. For Quincy's, I don't remember which one it is specifically. Like, let me check the trailer real quick. I actually just checked the trailer real quick, and it's Boost or Siphon variant. Those are the best ones for speed. Variant just gives you a flat Ryasu buff, and Siphon variant allows you to actually steal Ryasu from your opponent. It kind of just depends on your playstyle and what you perform more me personally i would go with boost just because you also get some extra buffs with that i think i like siphon is kind of mid and now when you come to the equipment there's three main equipments that i would highly recommend you prioritize dark fang star the dreadful bone armor and tiger king pants as for clans i would recommend picking shutara for soul reapers jigger jaquez or stark for ron cards and lavar for quincy the main reason i don't recommend the legendary clans is just because they don't give as much riatsu they do give posture and hp which are also important it kind of just depends on your playstyle and build so if you feel like you need those more then get the clan but if you feel like you're lacking on the riatsu department then i would highly recommend picking those up but yeah let me know if you have any questions for speed and let's move on Now we're on to Kendo and I feel like the biggest issue Kendo has in my opinion is the fact that it lacks gap closers slash combo starters. Due to that when you're really playing Kendo most of the time you're gonna have to play relatively passive and you're gonna need to actually like parry or block your opponent's attacks and counter with your own attack in order to actually start combos. Due to that I feel like posture is an incredibly important stat because the stat allows you to increase your block bar and posture generally is actually a really underrated stat for every build like you should have a decent amount of posture no matter what build you're using and Kendo is especially the best way to mid match your posture is through clans and equipment the equipment i'd recommend picking up for kendo are dreadful bone mask dreadful bone armor and flying hurricane these give the highest amount of posture and as for clans for soul reapers you want zaraki for rockers you want jigger jaquez and for quincy it's going to be the duke clan however if you do struggle with riasu you can also pick up lavar that clan's just busted for everything when it comes to variants for soul reapers i would get hp variant speed variant and defense variant or attack variant either works for Aron cards, I would definitely pick up Charge Variant. That just buffs Kendo so much. Like, Charge Variant Kendo is probably one of the best builds in the game right now. For Quincy's, I would definitely recommend getting the Blast Burst Variant. I forget what it's called. That's probably the best variant for offense as well. It's one of the hardest stats to come by. Like, I was looking at the equipment before I made this video, and literally no clan gives an egregious amount of posture, and no clan gives any sort of posture region. This should show the importance of having a lot of posture. Due to that, I would highly recommend being careful when you're mid-maxing your Kendo build. Like, posture is incredibly important. If you end up getting guard broken really easily, it's going to be very difficult to parry opponents or even, like, start combos, especially as a high ping player. So I would definitely recommend picking up a lot of posture. And that's it for this section. Let's move on to the next one. For the Hakata users out there, honestly, I would recommend mid-maxing posture once again. Hakata is in a pretty peculiar situation where the best playstyle is to just hold S and spam gap closers. So till the rework comes out, the best stats to prioritize as a Hakata user are going to be HP and posture. These essentially allow you to live slash tank for the longest period of time. And the longer you live, the more chances you get to start your air combos that do like half my HP. The best equipment to mid-max for these is going to be the Dreadful Bone Armor, Storming Beast, Dreadful Bone Mask, and I believe the Maharaga wheel would also work well with this. And for the variants, I would recommend picking up Hero variant for Ronkars, Defense, and HP, and Attack variant for Soul Reapers, and the Boost variants for the Quincy's. I'd recommend picking up the Mythical Clan Sorose, Eco Madoki, or whatever it's called, and Lavar. 
because it's honestly just better than the Quincy's Mythical. Honestly speaking, for Hawkeye, I, maybe I could be wrong on this, but I don't think it drains much Riatsu. So for that reason, I wouldn't really prioritize Riatsu as much. Maybe if you have like an, a clan or an ability, I don't know why I call it a clan. Maybe if you have an element that drains a lot of Riatsu, you could grab that much. But generally speaking, it doesn't seem to drain too much. So for that reason, you should be completely fine on Riatsu. TLDR, just be as tanky as possible and you'll be completely fine as a Hakata user. Let's move on to the next one. Two medic users out there, I got you with the best medic stats to pick up. Alright, so honestly for medic, I don't know much. If there's a better medic user, correct me in the comments if I get anything wrong here. But what I would recommend picking up is high Riatsu regeneration because I know the medic heal does take a lot of Riatsu away. So having more should theoretically let you heal your teammates more. And I know for once, some people do use medic. So for that reason, I would definitely recommend picking up uh hp regen just because i feel like the main medic play style is to just run away and heal so if you have more hp you should heal more because i believe the healing is percentage based right so theoretically that would help you a lot more uh as for the equipment i would recommend picking up dreadful bone armor dreadful bone mask and probably like dark fangs headband so pretty much just the same stuff that speed it has this gives you a sufficient tankiness and sufficient Riyasu regeneration. This is probably the best thing to pick up for medic players. This is up my bad for like no medic gameplay. Like the one medic player I know is gone for like till like two days I think. So yeah, no background footage. Anyways, let's move on to the final section of the video. And honestly, I don't think I need to even make a section on this. Like, everybody knows the best thing for a Keto user is going to be Riatsu. Like, I feel like Keto has probably one of the heaviest Riatsu drains in the game, aside from speed. The main thing you would obviously prioritize aside from Riatsu would have to be HP, just because as a Keto player, or I feel like most Keto players, no offense to everybody, are not that good at the game so generally speaking you're going to be taking a lot more damage so i feel like having that extra hp would help build to complement this type of playstyle would be something with dreadful bone set as your armor i would also recommend grabbing jog fang set as well these will give you a ton of hp and a good amount of riasu as for the clan similarly to speed i'd recommend picking up lavar for quincy's stark or jager jaquez for raw cards and shutara for soul reapers as for the variants i'd grab the speed riasu and hp variant for soul reapers the blood variant for quincy's and the dodger hero variant for raw cards i feel like this setup is honestly just the best for the playstyle that most keto users have which is just straight up spam all your moves and run away which to be fair there isn't any like better way to play keto like you can't do anything aside from playing super passive and having a ton of hp and riasu is going to help complement that type of playstyle. thank you for watching have a wonderful day and goodbye